what is something that people perceive as dangerous, but in actuality is pretty safe. Small bubbles in and fall line aren't going to kill you like the movies. The amount of panicked patients I've had is wild. Quicksand. We were misled by 80s action films. It's pretty hard to actually die in it. X200B. Conversely, regular old riptides in the ocean are way more dangerous than people think. I'm sure other people have said, but trick or treating. Any danger in drugs or razor blades in candy is wildly overblown in actuality I think there have been only one or two instances of someone actually being malicious with their candy handouts. Wolves. Wolf attacks on people are so rare they have individual entries on the Wikipedia page. Black bears are pretty harmless. They can kill you, but usually would rather leave you alone. This is kind of a meta answer, but I've injured myself a lot more doing stupid projects around the house than I have while on duty in an actual dangerous industrial job site. Universally because I didn't do a proper pre-work analysis and ensure I was using PPE. Floor being lava. 99.9 .9 of the time it's just carpet which is harmless. The rare time it's actually lava, you probably fucked up big time by staying indoors when an evacuation order was given by officials. I do risk assessment for a living. Humans are terrible at assessing risk, in general. Movies really do sharks dirty. Wouldn't say they're completely safe, but definitely nowhere near as dangerous as perceived to be. Foxes. For some reason my local FB group always seems to post about when they see a fox in town like careful on your walks. Do you think foxes eat people? Sending your kids outside to play. Go. Outside. It's good for them. Flying on a plane. You are more likely to die in a car crash than a plane crash. Alligators. They are big and look scary but don't generally attack humans and don't consider us prey. Florida has millions of gators but only averages like 8 unprovoked attacks per year with about one fatal death every three years. They are dangerous to small pets, however, and I'm pretty sure many of those attacks are from trying to save a pet. But alligators are everywhere is Florida so it's quite surprising how few attacks there are. Living in Chicago, I did it for 10 years, still don't own a bulletproof vest. My stepmom is convinced that if a steak has any pink in the middle I'm talking about anything less than well done that it's raw and will give you salmonella. Nuclear power. Using a sharp knife in cooking. It's actually far more dangerous to use a dull knife. MSG. Bees and wasps. I used to get stung a lot when I was a kid but I learned that if you don't wave your arms like a lunatic they'll leave you alone. Also don't throw rocks at their nest and you should be okay. Message Australia in general. It gets hyped for its creepy crawlies, snakes and whatnot but it's pretty safe. You don't mess around in crocodile areas though. I'd much rather come across a snake or spider on a hike than a pissed off grizzly or moose. Radiation. Which is pushy enough also the answer to what's something pretty dangerous that people perceive as safe. Specifically microwaves, that someone frights over for no reason, and sunlight, underestimated by most people. Nuclear energy, more people die each year because of coal oil gas than have died from 50 years of nuclear energy. Flying is safer than riding in a car by a long shot, right? GMOs, genetically modified organisms. Anxiety panic attacks. You'll feel like you're having a medical emergency, but you're not. Going in the ocean. Talking to those people afraid of seaweed. Elementary school age kids walking to school without a parent. Changing the brakes on your car. They're trivially easy to do, don't require any special tools outside of a torque wrench and dealer and mechanic prices are outrageous parts can be found online for a fraction of the dealer price at places like auto house as, and shop rates for labor are super expensive. It's pretty hard to screw up, and can save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars. MSG. 
victim of a smear campaign. Silica packets say, do not eat on them because they are a choking hazard, not because they're poisonous. Walking through the woods at night. Roller coasters and amusement park rides While these rides may seem scary, they are designed with strict safety regulations and are statistically very safe. Eating slightly out of date food. Hot air ballooning I'm a former pilot. Police work. Being a garbage collector or oofer is more dangerous than police work. Police work doesn't even crack the top 20 most dangerous jobs in the US, and the US is an outlier in police fatalities with three times more than any other country. Psychedelics, though public perception seems to be warming to them over the years. Chicago. Australia. MSG, 